This is Twit. I'm having troubles with my Windows 8.1, and it uh, seems like there was some sort of uh, hard drive failure or something where uh, it's asking me now for my Windows key. Oh, how nice. Which, yeah, so they oh, don't how provide nice. that. I've gone through the box. I've gone through... Uh, you got to call Microsoft on this one, I think. It, it's an Asus, I, I see on the screen. Yes. Asus laptop. Cool. Q501. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, you know, remember pre-Windows 8, they put a little sticker on the back of the thing. Right. They don't do that anymore. Hmm. So um, I think there is a way to recover. I think your key might be stored in the, on the hard drive. So um, there are software techniques does, so somebody's telling me the Bellark Advisor might do that. B E L A R C. Uh, well, the wonderful thing about this is that uh, it's interesting to think that anybody would want to steal eight point one. But more importantly, <laughs> uh, no, really, really. No, I know. <laughs> but you know, Microsoft—they're very paranoid. They and they always think the best of their products. So, <laughs> well, oh boy, that's why anyway. there's heavy copy protection on these things. Not one, not two, but three different forms. And uh, of course, if if it fails, then you 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 know you're kind of out in the cold. Obviously, you didn't go steal a copy of eight one and put it on this ASUS. It came with it, so ah. that's why one of the two two places would be Microsoft or ASUS. But so you're saying you can't run anything yet, or what's going on? Well, it keeps blue screening me, and uh, uh. no, that's uh, not cool. I paid for it. <clears throat> Did you ever? I ran when you log in. Do you log into your Microsoft account? Uh, unfortunately, I do, but I do have a second uh, account, you know, that's not uh, got administrator abilities. So no, that's um, fine. But it will. Um, one phone. of the things Microsoft does is saves your product key under your Microsoft account. Uh -huh. So you can, on another machine, log into your Microsoft account and see what your product key is. Well, uh, using Bellark, I did, you know, pull the serial number that they're providing. Yeah, but. Being that they're so paranoid, apparently they've blocked it out uh, now, <laughs> saying that it's a block key. So, oh wow, oh wow. But Asus is coming back saying we're going to offer you, you know, that in two hours, and then they revised it to seventy-two hours, oh, yeah. and we're currently on seven days as of oh. the eighteenth. So oh, I'm coming down to and I'm getting mixed messages from them. They don't know what the answer is. Yeah, because this they is not supposed to, to you know why? Because this isn't supposed to happen. Um, yeah, Microsoft's supposed to save the key in your Microsoft account. <clears throat> the boot firmware, the UEFI firmware, saves it there. So you should, in theory, just be able to do a restore from the restore partition. Uh, you know, you have uh, on Windows 8, and this is a nice thing, they have these abilities to just kind of reboot holding down certain keys, and you can, uh, or, or do the restore from the menu, and you should be able to restore the whole thing. Um, what you're right. saying is that the keys reported by the UEFI, or the key that you've typed in, these right. keys are blocked. Well, we didn't have a key, so I asked a friend to take a look at it. And uh, uh oh, your friend, sure exactly your friend, your stuff. friend may have done you a disservice. Maybe he has uh, all of the information, the box, and everything. So I'm, uh, I'm wondering if your friend did something that triggered a Microsoft block. Hmm. The key is built into the system, so a re reinstall, and it sounds like you need that since you're blue screening, a reinstall uh, should just reinstall it without any questions. Right. Well, I was attempting to get through it without having to do that because I have so much on here now, um, but that's going to disrupt things a bit. But nothing I can't recall. Well, they have a refresh. They have a refresh. It doesn't, doesn't delete data. Okay. All right. It's it's actually running right now. I'm because a little I, worried that your friend rather... stole your key. Your friend's a good friend, trustworthy? Yes. He didn't use your key on another machine? No. He has uh, his machine on okay. uh, all purpose. And, you know, so and, it sounds yeah. like uh, it is. Uh, this is why Asus is puzzled, uh, because it's not supposed to happen. But if you had a hardware failure, if, for instance, the UFEFI got corrupted, uh, uh -huh. this could be it, too. So... Um, it's working okay now. It's working. It just can, when I leave it, it seems to know when I leave, and then it pops that message up. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strange. Oh man, this is frustrating. <laughs> you know, Microsoft has really tried to eliminate all of this um, uh -huh. by um, providing these uh, the system refresh and the system restore built in, 
uh, and putting the serial number, especially when, you know, it has to be obviously you buy it from an OEM, but when you buy it from an OEM, the serial number is built in. Hmm. Um, well, I wish they would have put a little bit more uh, emphasis on functionality and the actual program instead of worrying about losing it because they might have had a product that would have been worth uh, protecting that key. And, you know, who knows? Maybe right. uh, they put too much emphasis on that. It looks like well, Microsoft's always been paranoid, going back to the days when, uh, the very earliest days of Microsoft, when Bill Gates was kind of a nerdy guy, and uh, they, he would go to user groups. This is back when Microsoft's only product was a version of BASIC for the IBM PC, and he'd say, you're stealing our BASIC, and you're, the, you're t stop stealing the paper tapes. And it was literally paper tapes, he said, said people were stealing. And ever since, from that day... And it's really, it's the corporate culture Bill Gates created. Microsoft has been more than almost any company, more even than Adobe, who is notoriously paranoid, really fearful of getting ripped off. And I think they overprotect their software. And you, you really have to contrast that to something like the Macintosh operating system, which doesn't even have a serial number. You just install it. Now, of course, remember, Apple makes money in hardware. Microsoft made money in the operating system. That's why they were so paranoid. But, And I'm sure Windows is heavily pirated, but... The irony is all of these protections don't ever slow down pirates. They only slow down honest people. Because the pirates just disable it. You know, they, they know how to get rid of it. It's the honest people who get hurt by copy protection. Because they it's like this. It's not working and I don't have any recourse and I have to wait a week for Asus to fix it. Uh, this is fortunately not common. And uh, I, don't, I don't know what the solution is. We'll, we'll put some uh, links to various forums... My Digital Life has a whole section on doing this, but I would caution you because what you don't want to do is make it worse. And it sounds like Microsoft's deactivated the key, which means it sounds like you have to go hat in hand to Microsoft at this point.